Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is developing a number of platforms for both Indian Army, Indian Air Force and also for Indian Navy. But the product that I'm going to show is light utility helicopter that was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi just a few days back. And why we are talking about this helicopter is because of the feature and the experience that it can give to the flyers and not only the experience to the flyers, but this helicopter, in fact, they say that this is going to replace the existing Cheetahs and Chetaks. Now, why it is important to discuss, I'll try to talk to someone uh, who has been flying this helicopter and who was a part of the test flight. In fact, they say that he is the father of this helicopter. Uh, I'm joined by Wing Commander Unni Pillai, sir. Sir, while we talk about this light utility helicopter, first of all, you tell me about the cockpit because we are sitting in the cockpit. They say that you are the one who is the chief test pilot and you know everything about this helicopter. Yeah, because from the very beginning I've been flying this machine. So now this machine is supposed to replace our aging Chetak and Cheetahs, you know, which is the born somewhere in uh, late 60s and 70s. And uh, while the Chetaks were being used, our services were uh, using them and they found uh, issues, you know, small problems. So when they told us to make one as a replacement, we took care of all the issues which they had reflected in terms of larger cabin. They wanted larger cabin. They wanted higher speeds. They wanted higher climbs so that it can operate in the glacier comfortably or in the you know Himalayas in the summer. So all that has been taken care of. We have put in the latest of equipment, it's state of the art, and uh, you will find it's a glass cockpit customized to each activity which you would be doing, each role which you will be flying. And of course, the performance of this machine is, you know, the best because we have landed in the highest helipad in the world in summer. Mm. Okay, in summer, the helicopter performance is reduced considerably at high altitude. Mm. So most machines can't operate there. Most helicopters can't operate there. That is the limitation of the helicopter that time. So this is supposed to take care of all that and we have proved it that we can carry a lot of uh, useful load, support our troops, Tomorrow you want to weaponize it, we will weaponize it for you. Since this, see, the IPR is HLs. So whatever anybody wants, whether it is Army, Navy, Air Force, it can be customized specifically for the requirement with the sensors, with anything. And for civil markets also, see, our civil helicopters are mostly imported helicopters, a small number. We expect this to go, enter into the civil market in a very large way. So this is what we are looking for. I expect more than thousands of these machines to be in service, not only in India, also in other countries, foreign and friendly countries. Right. Uh, sir, you mentioned about replacing <coughs> existing Cheetahs and Cheetahs. And, uh, you know, I want to talk about some conventional features in those uh, those helicopters. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, we have to carry uh, the physical map uh, and, you know, they don't have the glass cockpit and also uh, these advanced, uh, uh, you know, screens. So if you can tell about these features, what these screens are for and also about the uh, cockpit and all. Okay. okay. You have, uh, you see, there the instrumentation, navigation and the... Uh, Corporate instrumentation are very limited. So now I'll just power it on so that you can have a look. Let's see the yes. yes. Okay. It'll just take a second to power on. Now, so no need to carry any maps. All maps have been fed in scale. Your uh, there are multiple navigation systems from GPS, satellite based augmented GPS uh, systems to TACAN to VOR and even INS is there in the system. And uh, so you have this, let's say you want primary flying display, you have your primary flying display here, which would be uh, okay. And uh, you also have, you know, map, for example. Uh, ah, okay, like any map. You have terrain avoidance. See, there are recently in Chetak, there have been a number of crashes due to, it's called control, control flight into terrain because the pilot is not aware in the weather, there's hills ahead, they go into that. 
so this will warn you in case you are heading for any terrain impact with terrain mm. it gives you an aura you know oral warning it also gives you visual warnings then on top of that you have an autopilot also in this okay mm. which will help the pilot to keep off the controls and take decisions you know which are necessary at that particular moment in time so it will be it is twice the speed twice the weight came carrying capacity twice the safety so in every way it's a quantum jump over what they have been operating you you talked about the speed and the weight capacity if you can you know just quickly tell us the numbers what is the uh, maximum speed what is uh, the service ceiling and all okay. other things see service ceiling is something which uh, is governed by what weight you are carrying okay we'll talk of useful or ability to hover mm-hmm. which is see the uh, in hover maximum amount of power is used in hover mm-hmm. and especially when you're landing at a very high altitude in summer the power required are very very high so this we have landed at 21000 feet at uh, in summer which is a amazing capability mm-hmm. okay that is one part which is a capability to uh, hover second is the speeds are practically double of uh, uh, you know what chetak uh, chita this this we can do comfortably around it will give you a speed of 135 to 140 knots whereas the chetak was at 90 knots <coughs> then uh, rate of climbs are very high you don't have to hmm. so all that thing is uh, there and uh, it's a much better performer all right all right so i'll i'll try to ask about the project and all other things and also about the procurement because we have been given to understand that uh, both indian army and indian air force are going to get 66 units of uh, this particular helicopter and uh, you know talking about the features so we know uh, that it can carry six passengers at, at a time if i can show you the design i'll try to enter to the passenger area as well but before that if you can see the design it is basically the production unit and i'll try to talk to uh, the uh, person who is the in charge of the uh, project because we have been told that uh, you can carry six passengers at a time i am joined by srinivas rao sir who is the uh, uh, project lead of this uh, particular helicopter sir first of all if we can sit inside and you know have a sense of uh, uh, what this uh, product is all about and also why it is different from the existing ones so you tell me about the project when did it uh, got start and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, what uh, what is uh, the next idea uh if i were to tell you uh briefly about this project uh, you know highlight uh, especially the design and development as uh, ctp has already told that this is uh, going to replace the aging cheetah but this project actually started uh, in 2009 uh, by the cabinet committee and security ccs sanction in 2009 so based on that uh, actually we produced this helicopter the first prototype in 2016 and the second prototype we produced in 2017 and third prototype we produced in 2018 so we have flown closely uh, uh, we have flown uh, almost you know 1000 hours of uh, test flying uh, covering all these three prototypes which has been proven in all altitudes from sea level to high altitude to hot weather to cold weather so we have uh, you know experienced multiple challenges uh, during the development of this project in terms of rotor transmission uh, you know uh, flawless you know it be because of its flawless design we haven't uh, you know faced much of uh, the challenges but these challenges have actually made us to make this machine more you know mature in terms of uh, you know while while carrying out the developments uh, you know prototype so pt1 and pt2 and pt3 uh, what you have seen in the formation flying display so the pt3 is the one which is actually into the production variant standard where currently what we are seeing sitting in this place uh, in this machine is is the production machine so this is the first uh, you know limited uh, see, this luh mark 1 we call and this is a production variant uh, for army so there is also a variant uh, production variant for air force that is uh, for indian air force so we are going to produce uh, initially uh, for about 12 helicopters uh, six for army and six for air force so th- these machines we are going to deliver uh, shortly uh, so as i said uh, as ctp has already told that this is uh, most advanced machine compared to other uh, you know in cheetah 
and Chathex. Uh, the most important point which I would like to highlight is uh, we have almost uh, you know uh, made this machine uh, with 50% over. I mean more than 50% of indigenous content in terms of you know displays in terms of, so the entire rotor transmission and the manufacturing of main, main rotor blade tail rotor blade all this made by a uh, made in India so uh, in terms of uh, instruments displays cockpit I mean uh, uh, that is called smart cockpit display we have a lot of uh, you know lighting uh, uh, display systems all majority have been produced in India so with all this we have actually cr crossed more than 52 percent of indigenous content so that actually made us uh, you know the, to comply with uh, you know government of India's Atmanirbhar Bharat uh, with you know uh, IDDM, uh, indigenously designed, developed, and manufactured. So, so yeah. we we got to know that Indian Army and uh, Indian Air Force will be getting six six units of this helicopter by this year. Is it possible to deliver uh, it this year? Given that uh, uh, you know you talked about the production and the rate of production as well. Actually, production is already commenced long back. In fact, we haven't got uh, we have got letter of intent. Uh, based on letter of intent, we have commenced uh, the production. So we have uh, some few. Uh, I mean, say one system important is autopilot. Which is actually we got the software. We are we are actually doing the flight testing. We have already got the ground testing. It's actually in progress. So on whatever uh, the pending flight tests are required for autopilot mode. Once the autopilot uh, basic stabilization and other modes are cleared, then we will be able to deliver. So pending that the machine is actually f is fit for flying. In fact, we have flown this machine. Uh, you know from uh, you know from uh, Bangalore to Alahanka and even uh, recently it went to Tumukur uh, and it actually came back. So uh, the machine is for flying and uh, we are soon going to f complete the pending test and we will deliver to the uh, Indian Army and Indian Air Force. All right, so it is an advanced utility helicopter that is fit for flying. In fact, uh, HAL is going to give 66 six units to both Indian Army and Indian Air Force and uh, the best part is that it can uh, be, it is a utility helicopter. It can be used for a number of things. It can be used for rescue and relief operations. It can be used for photography and it can be used for a number of things and that's the reason why they are saying that uh, this is the best deal that uh, uh, anyone can get, be it the uh, you know uh, the forces or the civil administration. In fact, and we are looking forward to replace our existing Cheetahs and Chetak from this light utility helicopter. With Campus and Riaz, this is Akash Sharma for CNN News 18.